Okay, everybody, welcome to Rig It On Thursday with the coach. Uh, we back here ready to talk about some different things today. Jordan, I tell you what, uh, I'll give a shout out before we get started today uh, to my buddy Gabe Austin. He called and I just want to let him know we, we, we're thinking about him and, and, and hope, I know he's a regular, so he's on here with us. And uh, anyway, it's good to see you, Gabe. Uh, last week, man, we had a tremendous show. Uh, a lot of people happened to miss out on it and everything, but Jeff Creek was on here and he gave us a way to build a rattle. I thought it was pretty neat, Jordan. Um, what I did have, I had one good question about that rattle. I had, I had a viewer call me. He didn't, he didn't text in. He gave me a phone call. What kind of bird shot? Jeff just said we used, he used bird shot. Well, he, then he, his question was whether it was going to be lead or whether it was going to be steel bird shot. So everybody who watched last week and is interested in building some of those rattles, use, uh, you can use lead shot. They work just as good. So you can go buy just a bar a shotgun shell from somebody and cut the lead out of it and go to it. But anyway, so try lead. Lead works good. Questions for today, Jordan. What we got going on in the big world today? Sure, I have some questions in. One's from Reese Maldonado. He's wondering if we have any new soft plastics coming soon. Actually, we do. Uh, you know, iCast has been canceled. That's usually where we release our new our new plastics every year. So what we're going to do is, is is systematically release some plastics as the summer rocks along. Uh, you'll begin to see posts on our Facebook page, uh, on our internet site, and then like on Bass Tackle Live. Uh, there'll be a lot of different places that you can see the information. But two things I know we're going to introduce, actually we're doing three plastic pieces. Uh, one of them's a crappie piece, but the two bass pieces is the Finesse Kamikaze Crawl, the three inch version of the Kamikaze Crawl to use on, uh, to use on Finesse jigs. That'll be released. Okay. And then the second thing we're going to release is the BFE, the best flipper ever. It was, uh, Bradley Hallman was on here about two weeks ago and we talked in de detail about this. I think this is scheduled to come out middle of, middle of June sometime. So we'll let everybody know we're expecting or anticipating to get a lot of orders on this particular bait, especially from guys who like to flip. So that's some of the things. All right, other questions, Jordan, what else we got? Yeah, so speaking of flipping, Carson is fishing, is wondering how to rig a punch rig. Well, I, I don't do a lot of flipping myself, Carson, but I have talked to some of our pros about how they rig a flipping rig. And, and you know, if, they, if they're punching like you wanna do, first of all, they usually punch on braid, okay? First thing they do is they put a bobber stopper on the line, and that's gonna help you cinch down your weight. And normally a punching weight is larger than an ounce, okay? So this is like an ounce and a half punching rig. And then you use a flipping hook. It's got a keeper on it, heavy, heavy wire hook, heavy metal, I, I say wire, you might as well say heavy shank hook. And then of course your bait. Now one thing that most of them will tell you that I don't have done right here is that they do what's called snelling their hook. And what that makes happen is when you set the hook, it makes that hook pop up. When that line pulls, that hook will pop up and help you get a better hook set. So if you got questions about how to tie a snail knot, there's several tutorials on YouTube that, that are simple and easy to snail. I just didn't have a long enough piece of braid today to be able to snail it up. Okay? Okay, my next question comes from Crossfam Fishers. What is your favorite big bite bait? Well, obviously y'all know what my favorite bait is. It's the fighting frog. I've only said that about a thousand times, but I'll give you my number two because I want to give him something different to think about. Uh, probably my second most productive bait for me has been the, the, the B2 worm, the bomb worm, I call it. Uh, it's a 10 inch ribbon tail worm. Uh, comes in a lot of good colors. Uh, I personally like the plum apple. Uh, is my favorite color in that particular worm. So something to think about. Try If you like to fish deep and you fish, you know, try, the, try what I call the, the bomb worm, the B2, the 10 B2. Okay, uh, is that all our questions for today? So today we're gonna do a flipping show. Thought we'd do something different, you know. I don't, I don't personally do a lot of flipping, but have a little information I wanna share with you about two of our flipping baits. Uh, have talked to some of my guys out in the field that really like to use our baits. Uh, so I, I'm gonna do the mama family today. I'm gonna do the swimming mama and the yo mama. I call them the mama family. And we're gonna talk about a little bit about the differences in them and some of the similarities. They're built fairly alike, but there are some similarities. The first bait that we developed was the yo mama. And the yo mama is a beaver style bait. And, and one of the things that people don't realize about this bait that I will show you today is it comes attached. So you'll have, it has a very subtle approach. But if you wanna make it a little more active, you can actually, it's actually fixed where you can tear it open and you can do it two ways. So you can fish it straight or you can fish it with a tear open look. But it's gonna be more of a beaver type, fall type bait, uh, a good punching bait. A lot of my Florida pro staff guys do real well punching this bait in Florida. Comes in a three and a four inch size comes in 34 colors. 
and in those color ranges, you know, I'll talk about those in just a minute. All right, and its cousin is the other mama, the swimming mama. Now it's built pretty much on the same body as the yo mama. It's got the same flappers on the side, but the difference in the two is that the swimming mama has the curled tails. Now it, it's not as subtle, obviously. It's gonna kick some water and make a lot more noise when you punch it in there. And it's gonna have a lot more action. So I have several uh, Florida guys that love this bait. They talk about how it's it, on a different, some days that those fish will bite the yo mama and then on other days they want the swimming mama. So they carry both. It comes in 13 colors. So it's basically the same bait. It just has the curl tails on it rather than the beaver tails. So we did this to try to give us two styles of bait. One that was kind of subtle and one that had a lot of action. To kind of give you an idea on it. So that's kind of the deal on those two things. Now, they come in a variety of colors. I told you 34 colors on the Yo Mama, 13 on the Swimming Mama. They come in a variety of green pumpkin colors. They come in a variety of blues, all types of blues, melons. Uh, watermelons, melons, all types of melon colors, and then crawl type colors. So we, we've covered the whole gambit as far as the types of colors and the shapes and that type of thing to do. Two of our better flipping baits that we have, we've had for years that we've talked about. Uh, we got any new questions coming in, Jordan? Anybody got anything they want us to share with them today while we're on here? Yeah, actually, um, good. just good. Con continuing on with the flipping baits, what are some other suggestions you would have besides these two? Oh, uh, the Yo Daddy would be my third su suggestion. I just didn't bring it on today because a little later on I'd like to do a show with Russ and let Russ Lane develop that and let Russ talk to us a little bit about, about the Yo Daddy and his ideas behind it. But that would be the other bait that I would recommend. You know, it's a little more compact and, and a lot of guys that punch and flip like a more compact type bait. Okay. Definitely. My next one comes from Fowler. He's asking, what is the best big bite bait for pressured fish? I always, when I see a lot of pressure, I downsize. So I think that anything that we have is maybe in a small, for example, I use our fighting frog, for example, maybe go to a three inch, three and a half inch from a four inch. Or like when we get to the kamikaze crawl, maybe go down to the smaller kamikaze crawl on a finesse jig. Try to, try to, you know, basically, I think reduce your presentation is what I personally like to do. I mean, you know, and then of course, obviously the other way would be try to get some kind of reaction bite maybe. Okay, my next one is come from Trace Got Snap. He's wondering what's the best time to use bright colors? Uh, normally bright colors I think are better on cloudy days because you want to get the fish's attention. Uh, you know, on a clear day, we all know that we hate seeing those bluebird skies. I think you got to have to go with a little more subtle approach on those days. But if you got a cloudy day, then, you know, you want to have, you know, more of a, a brighter look. Like this morning, it's real cloudy here. And I was out on the lake for a couple hours this morning. And, and, and I, the topwater bait that I was using was white. It was bright. And that's how I was able to get my bites. So anyway, just this week we're going to do something a little different. Uh, one thing I want to mention to everyone, that we've had a lot of people calling in and telling us that they're not getting our program anymore, that something's going on on the Instagram. I mean, my own daughter called me last week and said, Dad, uh, I could, if you have any problem, give us a call here at the office and let us know so we can try to get it rectified because we want to make sure everybody's watching and we've let, some of our regulars have disappeared. So give us a shout on that if you would. Today I'm giving away the Coach's Kamikaze Kit. And it's a mixture of kamikaze crawls and swim-ons in several colors that I like to use. And uh, we're going to give that question, give that out today after the show if you, you'll call in. Jordan's got the question for you. So, Jordan, what's our question for that today? So, the first person to send a comment on this one with the answer will get this kit. But the question is, where will the 2021 Bassmaster Classic be held? I believe that was announced yesterday. So, get it in quick because I know that one's going to go quick. But anyway... Uh, everything's good here at Big Bite Base. We're all beating the virus, and we'll see you next week here live on Thursday with the coach.